Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm just demonstrating this custom servo that I've designed for Squawker's Macaw. For anyone who's familiar with trying to hack this robot parrot, there's basically one motor in the head that does both the mouth and the eye blinking. And here you can see is the mouth. Here's eye blink. Uh, the tricky thing is, if you want to get the eye blink to work correctly, it needs to reopen. Originally, in Squawker's Macaw uh, computer board, there's wires that go from these sensors down to the main computer board. But for this uh, custom squawkers I'm doing, I wanted it to be servo operated and not have to do some sort of fancy extra controller just to get the eyes to blink. So what I did is there's two potentiometers connected to an MG90S servo board. This looks a bit more complicated than what it actually is. Basically, potentiometers have three wires. You have the center pin and then the two sides that are used for tuning. And so the center pin of both potentiometers actually starts on this yellow blue wire, which goes to the center here of both of these contacts. So when the eyes are open, the yellow blue wire gets connected to the white wire, which then goes to the center pin of this potentiometer here. Otherwise, the yellow blue wire goes through this switch when the eyes are closed and goes to this yellow wire, which goes to the center of this potentiometer. This is the original potentiometer that was used inside of the MG90S. And this potentiometer is just simply tuned to tell the motor to go higher in one direction. So this makes a bit more sense if you actually have a servo controller ready to go to demonstrate. But basically, it, servo has two different ranges of motion. And this controller is operating off DMX. So when it's getting a center, it is at 128 uh, DMX. And so basically, I wanted the servo to stand still like this at 128. So you need to make sure you tune this potentiometer to stay still. So you tune this until the motor stops moving. Then when it gets a signal lower than 128 over DMX, it tells the servo that it needs to go lower. And the servo then is outputting voltage to the Squawker's Macaw motor, telling the mouth to go low. So when I'm sending it a signal for low, it's operating the motor, telling it to go low to operate the mouth. Then when you're wanting it to go high to do the eyes, anything higher than 128 will trigger the eye blink. And the helpful thing with having the secondary potentiometer is it's permanently tuned high. So if you trigger this switch, it'll get a high signal and automatically will finish cycling the blink. So this way, the eyes will actually stay open correctly because if you try and operate the blink manually, the eyes will usually get caught shut or in between. And so this way, it ensures that the blink is actually finished so that you can get it to blink and it'll reopen the eyeball correctly. I'm not 100% thrilled with the mouth movement. I was hoping for a bit more actuation, but I might figure out a way to tweak it at some point. 
but uh, for now, this will just have to do. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments about this, just let me know. I'm happy to answer any questions you might have. Uh, stay tuned for future videos on Squawker's Macaw, because I'm planning on doing more videos and having him sing songs in the future. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out the other videos on my channel.